access method is good. Whole duration, right now it's at zero seconds. So every time I tap, something happens. But if I had a student who had a really heavy hand, I'm going to put this up to say three seconds. All right. So now notice if I tap fast, it doesn't go up. But if I tap one, two, three, it's fluffy. it goes in. One, two, three, sissy. It goes in. Whereas if I tap it fast, it won't. So you might need to change that access for your student. So let's go back into our options. Oh, one, two, three. <laughs> Don't forget what you set it on. And I'm going to put this back down to zero. Okay. There is a way you can set up scanning. I can't go into that right now. Um, but it will scan if you need that for your student. And let's go down. Restrictions are important because you might want to strict, restrict some of these buttons. Um, if you don't want anybody editing, you can take that off. And notice it went away. Okay. You can take off share and add. You could take off the typing view. Not take it off, but you're closing it. You're hiding it. Your recents view, your keyboard button, and restore from backup. Those could all be taken off so a student couldn't get to it. Now I'm going to put edit map mode back on. The other one you want to take off sometimes is this options button. I don't want my students getting in and changing the options. There's a special place to do that. You have to go out of Proloquo, go into your settings app, and then on the left, scroll down until you see Proloquo to go. This is where you can hide the options button. So now I'm going to say I want the options button off. So when I go back to Proloquo, it will open up. And notice there's no options button. So now my students can't get in. And I would probably take both the edit and the option ones off. I would probably close those. Now if I need to get back in, I just close. I go back to my settings. And Proloquo is highlighted. And I'm going to turn this on. And now the options button should show up again. Now I have my option button back. Okay? Makes sense? Okay, so that's, those were your restrictions. And that, I think that is really important to put on. All right? Let's look next backup. Backup is important because you might adjust or do something and you want to keep that profile and if someone else gets in after you and changes things, you can go to your backup, like I'm going to do backup all user now, and it's going to back up what I have done. Okay. If somebody got in and changed this, I can go to restore from backup. And I could find, it looks like it's right here, student four. And I could hit that button and it would take my profile back to the way I designed it. So backing up every now and then is a, is a really good idea. It will, it will save your backups for you. Okay. I have to go back up here and I'm going to go into users. And I'm going to add another user. And we're going to name this. student five okay and I'm going to have this one do the core word vocabulary and that will be everything and so we'll do add user save and now we're going to be in student five okay so this is student five it's a copy of student one so I'm not messing with student one which is good I'm not messing anything up so I'll show you some things on here we can do Let's say I really don't need um, this places folder. So I can open this up and I can tap. And now notice I have a little check mark. And I can come over here and hit delete. So it's asking me, do I permanently want to delete this folder or do I want to move it to storage? If I permanently delete it, it is totally going away. All right. But if I move it to storage, it will go up here in my storage bin. And that's my suggestion, is to put things in your storage bin, and that way you can get them back. Once you totally delete it, I don't think you can get it back. You might either have to remake it, 
or um, re-download your ProLoquo um, software, your app, to, to get something back. I hope that makes sense. And I'm going to, let's practice this and I will show you. So let's say I'm going to go into um, actions. Oops, I'm still in edit mode. Let's go in, let's go into things. Okay, and there's a lot here. I really, it's too busy on this page. So I'm going to open up edit. And now I'm going to choose some things. I'm going to say, let's choose all of these folders. And I'm just tapping each one. Now, I'm going to move them to a second page, and that's called secondary. See it right here? Move to secondary, so I'm going to tap on it. And now it's made a second page. So this was the first page. Oops, I'm going to do done. And now all those things that I selected are now on a second page. So you can split things up into two pages. But let's say these are way more than I need on this page. I don't want all of these. So again, I'm going to go into my edit. And I'm going to choose the ones I don't need. And again, I'm just choosing a bunch. So instead of deleting them, I'm going to move them now. See, move to storage. I'm going to move them to my storage container. And now they're up here in my storage container. So if I wanted to get one back, okay. Oops, let me go back again. Okay, if I click on, now I'm in my storage container, and these are all the things I just took off, and I could add one back. So say, oh, I really need money. So now down here, I have the option I can move it to my secondary page or I can move it to my primary page. So let's move it to my primary page. Okay. I think it went. Done. Okay, and there it is.